is essentially Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. the real treasure is the friends that we made along the way. I think. That's good. The skeletons that I talked to in one scene are all animatronic. What about um, the fish that eats? The baby? fish. The, that's real. The, baby. Mm -hmm. that's, the fish that ate the cat baby. But instead of me, it's the owl there. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, everybody. This is Chris Pine and the rest of the cast from Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. And we are here at Entertainment Weekly's Around the Table. Here's the thing. We're a team of thieves. And when you do this, you're bound to make enemies. Sometimes those enemies come looking for revenge. What's this movie about? about Chris. Yeah. What's this film about? Oh, God, Hugh, it's so funny you should ask me that, pal. <laughs> yeah. I think generally, fundamentally, distilled, it's about a group of kind of misfits and generally kind of failures at life. Thieves, and as a former thief that's moved away and has now become the king of uh -huh. a kingdom. Uh -huh. You look so interesting. You're doing so great right now. <laughs> you know you're really doing so great right now. It's about a group oh, of on. misfits. Just help me. Reggae, misfits, you're good at this. Misfits, yeah. This is essentially Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. The real treasure is the friends that we made along the way. I think. That's good. But that is that is the sub the, the sub that's in, good. in the film or in making the film? <laughs> um the metagame is all real. Making the film in the film, it's oh, all the man. same thing. It's a oh, movie no, about having fun with your friends. Right. Me and Michelle Rodriguez are best friends. I play Egg and I'm a bard. Michelle's a barbarian. I've lost my family. She's lost her family. And then we go on this journey to find my daughter who's living with one of my f uh, best, former best friends, uh, Forge Fitzwilliam. I believed you as a good foster parent, by the way. As Forge, you know, yeah, when you sure. sat down with the kid, you didn't, I agree. you were, you were I, I, I like agree. a cool wannabe dad. You know? I, and that's Forge's tragedy, but mm. no one seems to care about that part. I so. care. I think you're awesome. Yeah. You're just misunderstood. That's right. Yeah. Yes. But turns out the Forge may not be as trustworthy as he exactly. may appear right. to be. We yeah. put a team together exactly to right. pull off the greatest exactly. heist of all time, but not just for treasure, but for the love of your life, which is your family. Exactly. What? And I Drop think, Mike. And I think, personally, what's so fun about Dungeons & Dragons is that people think it's a kind of a, a niche thing, but in fact, really, a great story is a great story. It doesn't matter if it's about dragons, and it doesn't matter if there are a bunch of Easter eggs for all the fans. This story is, a, I think, a really, really good time with an earnest, big heart. But I, I have a nephew who's 13 who's played it for six years, and I'd never played it before, and so he was at my house playing with his friends, and I was like, let me do, you know, take a gander, see what this whole thing's about. And watching him, I didn't understand half of it, but what I, what I saw, what I really resonated with, is that they were having an incredibly good time. It was really fun, it was really joyful, really creative, and it reminded me a lot of improv class. It was basically a bunch of kids doing non-professionally what we do, do you think as professionals. Like this Shut <laughs> more. <laughs> It's a very good question. Okay. Yeah. Who do you think would like this film more? People who've played the game or people who've never played the game? This is what I'm saying is that I think no matter if you're a fan of it or not, mm -hmm. there's something to, there's joy to find it. Because it's, reminds me, for instance, like if I could pick comps, it reminds me of a uh, bit of Princess Bride, Goonies, Willow. I right? agree. We had a long talk about yeah, that. Yeah, Willow. Kind of reminds me I... of um, Mystery Men. Do you know the movie Mystery Men? No, but you no. talk about it all no the time. No one does. <laughs> but you really do. That's the only film you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Such frustration. And Galaxy Quest, a bit like Galaxy oh. Quest. Do you know Galaxy Quest? Hey, Galaxy that's not Quest. One of my favorite that. Sam Rockwell of all time. I watched that religiously. I love the documentary. Oh my God. <laughs> Tony Shalhoub, my favorite. Tony Shalhoub's great. Truth be told, we helped the wrong person steal the wrong thing. We didn't mean to unleash the greatest evil the world has ever known. But we're gonna fix it. So well, how do we pull that off? Uh... Figure it out over a drink? Probably best. Oh yeah, what are the little secrets would you say? He's right. right. I missed them all as a non d and so far. You're uh, looking at me as if I know everything about d and but I don't. Oh, go on, tell everyone about the... Um, Displacer onions. beasts, gelatinous the cubes, the we onions. have mimics. The things you leave in we the have room. owlbears, we have... Onions? Um, I a nod to the 80s television show. Easter, 80s costume. Easter eggs. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Intellect devourers. <laughs> Intellect devourers. Rock nun. Um, what so in the hazy? It's got uh, onions. <laughs> um, and probably a bunch more that I'm not even aware of. He you thought, liked the onions in the movie. Yeah, he thinks uh, Easter eggs are onions. Oh, what? 
Um, I was trying to remember what those little clues are. I get the correlation. The Easter, you know? Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite Easter egg in the movie is the scene that we've released with the Speak to Dead spell. I think that yes. that's the most witty way that you can play with very specific Dungeons and Dragons rules uh, whilst making it into a Monty Python esque, essentially, word joke. You were right, Chris. Dungeons and Dragons players can almost He's the feel. Biggest. D &D geek out of I was waiting for what was coming after Vegas. <laughs> that could have gone in so Wait, many directions. You, you played D and D, no? Um, no, I've watched people play D and D. Like I'm so much nerdier than someone who would actually play it. But why did you get into watching people play D and D? Um, because I'm super into like imagination. So I became an actor. Like, no, but how did, did you watch? Where did you watch? Uh, online. Like folks play online all the time. Um, someone, watch, someone told me this, yeah. and this may be a part of I'm not sure. It, yeah. Apparently, over one billion hours of D&D was watched over the quarantine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I watched. It's fun. It's funny. It's yeah. great. Yeah. It's I mean, really you look excited, it's which just, is great. Like, just <laughs> it's a different way of telling a story, I think. It's kind I of don't get this next passion. generation. What, what, what worries me about this conversation, <laughs> you guys baffle me, you know that? <laughs> is that it's all about the game and, and the, the, how much gamers will enjoy it. But I'd like to make a case for people who've never played the game, yeah. know nothing about it, my wife, for instance, yeah. I took her to see a screening of this film. We were just two of us alone in the cinema uh, in a screening. And uh, she is almost impossible to please in any way, <laughs> especially, especially my films. She's hated them all almost uh, across the board. And she loved it. She mm -hmm. loved it. And I, so oh, that I, found awesome. that, I found that very encouraging. She laughed properly. She was moved by the moving bits. So I think there's great hope for the non-D&D audience. They give us a fighting chance. We're gonna need strength. You got this, right? I know you don't. We also need courage, magic, and you. What is that again? It's an owl bear. You, what was your most challenging scene? And they shot it on the first day. What was it? What was it? The that first was, day? Yeah, it was so unfair. <laughs> well, you know how on the first days on films they give you really easy to come into the room and ask for a cup of coffee and leave again. This was, what, eight pages, 12 yeah. pages? <laughs> you did it like a G, me. though. The, the, the camera's straight away on me. Biggest scene I've got. And um, I'm still angry about it. <laughs> you killed I'm it. I'm angry. You were so good. You were so good. Wasn't he so good? It was great. He Which killed scene it. Was it? Yeah. The, it's the first scene with the sand. Remember? Yeah, like, with the oh, sand, oh, with yeah. the floor takes off on us. Yeah. yeah. Did you like but, the scene with the water? No. What scene? The scene where you get drenched in water. Oh. <laughs> I've always thought about what you're thinking was about that your when double? shooting this. Or was scene. that you? No, it's his face on camera. Oh no, darling, it's a double. No, <laughs> on, no, 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 no wait, wait, you're wait. on camera soaking wet at okay, the end of the movie. Okay, but that's after the event. I think when the guy gets knocked over. Is that what that means? Yeah, no. it's but your... The awful thing is I can't remember anything. I drink so much. <laughs> <laughs> difficult scene, though, wasn't it? It was a difficult, tricky little scene. You were all in the boat being smug about yes. something. Yes, yes. You got the treasure. Yes. Yes. And, and then, then I had to nearly threaten to stab the girl. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That was the only scene I had with you. How did it go? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, eh. <laughs> so, so so. So Michelle, what was your favorite scene? Oh, my favorite scene in the movie, I'd have to say, was uh, her escape from oh, yeah. the from from the Neverwinter. From That's the weird. Never Neverwinter. Yeah. Oh, the I one just that's think not me at all. <laughs> <laughs> the one that is. Yeah. The one that I but she, you keep changing it. Yeah, to be was, fair, yeah. I, it was pretty extraordinary. I had a little. <laughs> it was pretty extraordinary. You're in the, it's not not you at all. That's not true. You're in that scene. You're in the arm. <laughs> You're there in You're spirit. In the I <laughs> talk about this one more time. There's, There's a poster. <laughs> Sophia loves this. There's a poster. There's a poster. <laughs> and my mother sent it to me. She laughed for like 30 minutes straight. It was just everybody on the poster. But it's, <laughs> instead of me, it's the owl bear. <laughs> and, and I've been getting so many things like, how did you like the, being the owl bear? Like, or turning it to all those animals. And it's not me. I'm barely in the movie. Can I, can I just <laughs> ask you one question, Sophia, yes, please? Excuse me, yes. Yes, sir. Can you elaborate yeah. exactly what the training process you underwent? None. 
What? You said that you had, you felt the need to try to figure out oh. what it's like to embody the animals that you were going to turn into no, I, in that escape sequence because you didn't think that it was going to be CGI. Right. No. So I'm just wondering. What did I do? Yo, seriously. What did you do? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so what I did was uh, I... Um, I watched a lot of animal documentaries and a lot of videos of like animals and how they move like you know must like you know like how a, a bird flies off a branch what do they do first with the mm -hmm. arms and the legs and how do they land and what, what you know so because I thought I was going to be these you know at least do something animal like <laughs> mm -hmm. so uh, I Is also, that why you jumped out of that window? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yes. So I did, um, I did a, I uh, also did like a, a movement class and stuff like that. But, you know, it's, oh, that's pretty cool. Just well, for like a, like I, I oh, just for a couple of years. I took a <laughs> Did a you? Couple years of animal training. She got a certificate. But you know, I, I was, you know, like how, it was kind of, you know, embarrassing, but you know. You what, you did the deer? To, to walk around in, in animal-like. That sounds could, like could fun to me. For in, entertainment, in, in, we could maybe walk like a deer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Dude, come on, you. I, did, I was just curious. I spent full on months of my life walking around as an animal. They made us do that at drama school. You're not alone. I'm sorry? Yeah. What animal did you walk around? Yeah. Um, my two animals were, I did a lot of times a peacock and did a lot of time as me. a tiger. That doesn't what's, surprise what's me at all. Oh, that was sarcasm. Oh, God, I gotta learn to read that. Uh, no, it's just like, that was a big part of my training. You were just, you were doing the full active studio version of this movie. Oh, nice. Next time, we're gonna let you take that full Andy Circus driver's seat. Yeah. Like it won't be, it won't go to waste. Fantastic. Well, By the yeah. way, super talented man. They should start giving out awards at the academy for for motion capture. Uh, oh, they yeah. call it performance capture now. Because okay, cool. there's a that's whole lot of work in that. Capture. And mm -hmm. and, and I think Andy was, perfect example. Andy Serkis mm -hmm. was nominated. I thought yeah. He was. yeah. Yeah, but I think yeah that that's beautiful because that's a whole new world. Mm -hmm. I really loved all the wire work getting thrown around in. In the harness. You want to know something fun? Uh, the fun. stunt guys said that that scene where they blew us back off the top of the, like the bone cliff oh, yeah. was the most uh, first team actors they've ever had on wires simultaneously. Oh wow! Um, wow. And they were terrified. Oh, I'm it's, sure they, were. they didn't tell us they were terrified because then we'd be terrified. But they were scared they were going to break us. I hurt my <laughs> neck in that scene, and I'm very you happy. Can't make a only... claim now. It's too late. No, I, and yes, I yeah hurt myself in that scene, but we only did one take. There's only one take of that scene in the movie, and that's the take that we use. You work out a lot, don't you? No. Yes, but not for this movie. <laughs> not for this movie. They told me not to take work out. Take us through shooting that, the, um, the flame grass thing, the flame finger thing. That scene where... You know, the Tribor the, Theater scene. Yeah. That was the very last scene that we shot of the entire movie. Um, and it was super fun. It, it was a lot of wire work, again and uh, getting to tussle with stunt guys. Mm. Um, How did they do the flipping the thing? The they like they built gravity. the whole theater upside down. We didn't actually go upside down. We <gasps> just acted like we were upside down. And we had, I had wires on my cape that would like, you know, like the, because if the I'm cape. upside down, the cape would still go like uh, that, cool. you know, so they would just pull it. Show me what happened. It's like this, <laughs> the cape would go like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. and that's how physics works. Okay. Um, so Pretend that would be the fun. cape right now. The cape would actually, so like if that. I'm, yeah, so the cape right. would go this <laughs> just like that. Okay, I just want to make sure. Once the dead man is revived, we can ask him five questions, at which point he will die again, mm -hmm. never to be re-revived. Were you killed in the Battle of the Everhorse? Yes. One more question, right? Yes. No, 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 that, that wasn't for you. Did that count as a question? Yes. Damn it. Only answer when I talk to you, okay? Yes. Why did you say okay at the end of that? I didn't. Fantastic. Where's the shovel? Everything was pretty scripted. John Jonathan had a clear idea of what they wanted to do from the beginning. And they're, they're really great comedy writers, so we trusted Ooh. them. Mm. Uh, we did try to improvise, and well, then John lot. and Jonathan would a try. A lot. These two. And, and they would be like, do what's in the script. Yeah. It's way funnier than what you're <laughs> going to do. Um, I'm not entirely sure that's the case. But I did actually get some improvs in the movie. Did you? So, yeah. Yeah. How many, Hand how many him? Three. Did you get three? I got three. How many did you get? Uh, you got one, man. I think I got. Think I got two. 
Nice. Wait, wait, are you counting the rock scene? I think I got scene. straight line Zank and I got, um, you say something like, this is fairly awful. I'm like, I, it's fairly wonderful. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what you got? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is like a big deal. That, that this is, is like a big deal. No one's gonna f*** that under No, it's, it's a big deal. deal. It's a big yeah. deal. Me and Sophia would take walks on the beach. Um, the beach was full of stones, and it was cold because it was Ireland. Such a good storyteller. Yeah, <laughs> you're the best. I'm, I'm liking I'm painting a picture. Okay. Okay. It was a gray a day, and there were rocks everywhere, and me and Sophia <laughs> walked for about a mile, uh -huh. yeah. talking about our characters. Aww. And it wow. was a real bonding moment for the two of us. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> Uh, Jesus. Uh, twice. Uh, we did it twice. You don't really yeah. remember it, do you? No. <laughs> you're, trying to, you're going through all your other friends. Okay. Like, uh, no, it was her idea. First off. Wait, was it? Wow. Yeah, it was. Yeah. She is cutting you down. I know. I know. She I'm does. Not, I'm not. I'm not. It was good. It was, uh, it was, first it was good. <laughs> we bonded. I can't, I can't win here. Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Um, no. It was fun. You and I first met. Doing that, yeah. Um, we did it twice. It yeah. was so I could get to know you, Same. and um, I didn't have a lot of lines, so I um, <laughs> wait all on. So I memorized the lines beforehand, you know. And yeah, Sophia memorized the whole script before. That's actually isn't that crazy? Did you? Yeah. yeah. She memorized the whole script. What? what Can you still remember you? it? No, absolutely not. I'm gonna remember Run all that. Run through the entire <laughs> right now. But, wow, that is that's actually really that's I was pretty nervous. cool. I don't like. I don't really like um, uh, acting. Like, uh, uh, readers, <laughs> like readers. when you meet yeah, up with people, yeah. I, I, I hate they scare me because they, you know, um, why would I want to do it in front of people? I just do it in front of camera, you know. Right. So. I got nervous, so I memorized it. So wow. um, we also played D and D as a cast, we and did. that was that very was bonding. That yeah. yeah, that yeah. was an incredibly bonding. I hear that was fun. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Why weren't you there? Yeah, why weren't you uh, there? I don't, no one really called me. <laughs> it's it's fine. Fine. I was playing got delayed. It's absolutely fine. I, I had a walk on the beach myself, just just me. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It was nice. It was very calm. Dorian. Speed way to get into the arena. The practical effects on this were incredibly impressive. We worked with this company called Legacy, as all of you guys know. Uh, and the animatronics were so cool, weren't they? Yeah, they Legacy. were badass. Growing up, that's what I loved, and I always talk about Goonies because I remember reading this article about how the Goonies cave and the ship, it was all built. It was the last time, I think, something of that scale and size was all analog, and all these craftsmen were used, it took six months to do, and nowadays, you shoot on a green screen, they send it off to a bunch of, of computer graphic artists, and they, you know, they figure it out. So I think visually, what I'm excited about what, I, what I've seen with audiences, I think, responding to is that there's a fair amount of computer graphics, but there's also an incredible amount of analog stuff. So the skeletons that I talked to in one scene are all animatronic. And the, this big python thing that kind of, that, that grabs me, that's all animatronic. What about uh, the fish that eats? The fish. The, that's real. The, that's, the fish that ate the cat baby. The cat baby the coming mouth. out of the fish's mouth. Yeah, I mean, what no one knows about that fish is that the world is so <laughs> tangible that to make it appear as slimy as it was, it was covered in KY jelly. Like, it was the slimiest fish I've ever encountered. We also, all of us were covered in KY jelly at one point. What? Gelatinous camera, cube day. Camera. Gelatinous <laughs> cube day. No, gelatinous <laughs> cube, yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Do you know that Chris doesn't remember being in the water? Chris, you don't remember at all being in that tank. I don't. You blocked you it said, out of your mind. You said that we we were in a water tank. You actually swam swimming? in it. You swam in that dirty that. water. We went swimming all those camera guys no, walking all over that no, dirty Titanic Studios yes. and then putting their feet bleh, in that water. And yeah, but we didn't swim. You swam no, in you it. You did. You swam in it. Like between takes, you were you just like, I'm gonna take a swim. You swam in it. He, the you room wasn't big enough to I remember because I'm like, a germaphobe and I wanted to throw up. I'm, I'm so lost. I don't remember you. You know like it. the wind where underground, yeah, yeah, yeah. the water being filled, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like nope. filmed and it. And he actually went tank. under it. 
He and you were just head, like, oh, wow, well, this is so cool. There's loads of water on set. And you just like go for laps. Just to like, yeah, dude. Pretending you were like, <laughs> at, the, at a hotel. Just swimming Thanks. in all the germs. I was like, yo, that's awesome. I wish I was fearless like that. Shot. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. You don't remember it. To that point, John and Jonathan, um, our directors, were very passionate about this not feeling like a green screen movie. And I think that's why they did so much practical mm -hmm. events. I found, it, sure. I found it very helpful. I, I was not, uh, it's, it's not something I was very used to, the uh, CGI type of stuff. I, I don't do that kind of business. So um, doing this was uh, it definitely helpful to have something to mm -hmm. talk to. I also really like practical effects. It's always been something I'm like, if I didn't act, I would probably try to get into something like that. Though they were the funnest guys yeah. to hang out with, the legacy oh, dudes. I would go visit them every day. I'd play drum. I bought a drum set and hung out with, you know, right next door to them, Ooh, playing shoot, drums really? in between tags. Oh, nice. I would go visit them and they'd be painting, you know, fit the faces of all of the, the you know, the dragonborns and all the new creatures. Like Remember that guy in the beginning of the of the of the film whose face looks like mm -hmm. oh, like Lord, a yeah. rotten you know I don't even know I don't want to it's a very it's a very offensive face <laughs> that they made let's just put it that way what you did to the face lets us know that it affected <laughs> it was a very offensive face and these guys did that from scratch it was pretty amazing yeah that sounds right yeah yeah, yeah. super talented it's the first big action sequence yeah oh that yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. This one's dangerous. But whatever happens. We'll be ready. Thank you so much for joining us. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is out March 31st.